Hello and welcome to the 2016 version of this introductory video to the LTC signing selections. I'm sorry this is getting out to you so late. I have been suffering with bronchitis and I'm kind of hoping that I can make it through all these without coughing and hacking and keeping my voice. So I appreciate your patience. Nobody's been pestering me this year and I, I appreciate that. This year we do have um, three cool songs. The first one is on Bended Knee, which is a favorite, I think, of a lot of people. It's a simple song, one that I'd recommend for somebody who is just starting in signs or has done it once, maybe twice. The other one is How Beautiful. Again, this one's kind of a beginner song, and so if this is your first time signing and you haven't made your selections yet, uh, this one would probably be a good choice for you. <coughs> Excuse me. Already. All right, anyway. And the last one, last song is 10,000 Angels. Probably one of my favorite songs of all songs. And this one, if you're a beginner, I'm going to suggest you hold off on this one. But if you've done this two or three times before, and the others are kind of looking pretty simple to you, uh, this one's really not all that challenging, but it is more challenging than the other two. And so if this is your third or fourth time doing this, then by all means try, the, try to do the 10,000 Angels one. I'm hoping to hear that one often. The scripture this year is Psalms uh, 42 verses 4 through 8. Uh, one of the nice things about doing this is I get to pick some of my favorite verses. That's, those are some of my favorite verses. <clears throat> and so as we go through these things, some of you are going to be signing and learning only from the videos. You guys have it the most difficult. And uh, I encourage you, if you have a question, that you contact me. If something doesn't seem right or I goof up something on the video or who knows, <clears throat> you just have a question on how my fingers did what they did. I encourage you to give me a call. Uh, send me a, uh, an email, a Facebook, uh, put, post something on Twitter, however which way you want to get, get a hold of me. So uh, don't let your questions go unanswered. Some of you will be using the video as a way to teach other kids. <clears throat> and you may have your own signing. I want you to say this really, really clearly. This video does not represent any kind of golden standard. This is not the video and the signs and the technique and the movements that are going to be used to judge the, the, the participants. This is strictly a, a training video. If you sign something differently, by all means, sign the way you sign. My signs, <clears throat> they are my signs, and I speak in a certain fashion. If your signs are different and you speak a little differently, if you use C signs, it's okay. If you use pure ASL, it's okay. If you use the, the signs that I'm giving you, they're okay. The point is, do what's comfortable for you. Use this whatever way it it helps. Uh, if you just forgot a sign, and didn't know how to do it, and want to see how I did it, you can use it to, to cherry pick some of the signs. All of that's good, okay? <clears throat> and I often forget to say this. Uh, Left-handers and right-handers, right-handers, I'm signing right-handed. Left-handers, I'm signing left-handed, or right-handed. So, if you're a left-hander, this message is specifically to you. Here are the things that you will do that the right-handers don't generally do. Left-handers are growing up in a right-hand world, and so they naturally use their left hand, but they see the right hand so much that they become ambidextrous. <clears throat> and so sometimes there's a lot of confusion 
as to whether or not you should use your left hand or your right hand. Okay? The, the bottom line for left-handers and right-handers is your dominant hand does all of the communicating. Your subdominant hand sets a stage for it. Okay? For example, sunrise. Okay? See, my right hand is doing the work, my left hand set the stage. So if you're confused whether it should be this way or this way, ask yourself the question, which hand is actually doing the communicating? And you're going to struggle with, sometimes it's hard to know, okay? If you will take your right hand and hook it under a belt loop back here and practice signing with just your left hand, it will help you to figure out which hand should be doing what, okay? <clears throat> what you want to avoid is, hello, my name is Paul Lemons, and I will be signing for you today. <sighs> you, you, you're, the person watching that, their mind just kind of goes, Poof. which hand do I watch? Okay, so left-handers, please make sure that you've, uh, you're working on picking a hand. I have a right-handed girl who signs 100% left-handed. I have had left-handed kids who signed 100% right-handed. Those are the exceptions. If you are truly a lefty, sign with your left hand. It's beautiful. I absolutely love watching left-handed signers. All right, is there anything else I need to tell you? I think that's just about it. Looking forward to seeing you all there at LTC. I kept this short, so I hope you watched it all the way to the end. Uh, follow us on Twitter uh, if you want. Uh, LTCSouthwest.org or LTC Southwest. Uh, anyway, look for a hashtag that says LTCSW2016, and then you'll find it, I'm sure. I lost it in my mind all of a sudden. But anyway, follow us on Twitter. Find us. You can do that. All right. Anything else? That's about it. All right. Looking forward to seeing you there at LTC. Good luck.